A large fire broke out in Rome on a hill near the Italian capital's Court of Justice and a public TV broadcasting center, forcing the evacuation of several buildings and offices, firefighters said. The alarm was raised when the flames broke out on the slopes of the hill and at the end of the nature reserve, causing the first teams of firefighters and civil protection to rush to the Piazzale Clodio area. The gravity of the situation soon also required the intervention of air vehicles, two helicopters, one from the firefighters, the other from the civil protection of the Lazio region, thus began to launch retardant liquid to keep the fire under control which, driven by the wind and favored by the high temperatures, soon spread, producing smoke so dense as to force the evacuation of residential buildings, commercial activities, even the Trianfail Carabinieri Company. Offices of the Italian public broadcaster Rai and several residential buildings have been evacuated due to a large fire on the Monte Mario Hill in Rome. The fire broke out on the slopes of the hill in northwest Rome, the fire department announced. According to the ANSA news agency, the evacuation of the Rai offices meant that the recording of some broadcasts and programs had to be suspended. Surrounding streets had to be closed due to the fire and the heavy smoke, which caused considerable traffic problems. Several parked cars in nearby neighborhoods caught fire. Pictures and videos from the fire department showed a thick column of smoke rising into the sky, which could still be clearly seen from afar. The authorities called for windows to be closed due to the smoke. The United States on Tuesday launched an airstrike on south of Baghdad in Iraq in self-defense, U.S. officials have told media. U.S. forces in Iraq conducted a defensive airstrike in the Musay bin Babel province, targeting combatants attempting to launch one-way attack uncrewed aerial systems Wawas, an official told ABC News. Based on recent attacks in Iraq and Syria, U.S. Central Command assessed that the Wawas posed a threat to U.S. and coalition forces, the official highlighted. The strike inside a base south of Baghdad used by Iraq's Popular Mobilization Forces PMF, killed four members of the group, which includes several Iran-aligned armed militias, and wounded four others, according to Iraqi police and medical sources. Earlier on Tuesday, Iraqi officials reported blasts in South Iraq that is a hub for Iraq's popular mobilization forces. Unnamed U.S. officials told media that the United States carried out an airstrike targeting militants in Musaib, in Babel province, but did not provide more details on the location. The officials claimed that the militants were looking to launch drones at U.S. and coalition forces. The strike comes a week after Ain al-Assad airbase housing U.S.-led forces in Iraq were targeted with multiple rocket launchers. There were no reports of damage or casualties during the attack. It should be noted that there are 2,500 U.S. troops in Iraq and about 900 serving in Syria, assisting local security forces in preventing the resurgence of ISIS. <laughs> لا لا يبين
اسمع ضربة خلي مروان يرفع موضوع 